Welcome One Name Kids. My name is Miss Jamie and we are so excited to have you back here with us this week. If it's your first time watching one of our services, we would love to send you a special gift in the mail. It is actually a pretty cool One Name Kids t-shirt. So if you text the number below, grab a grown up, have them text the number below. We will send that straight to your house, just our way of saying thanks for hanging out with us. This week, maybe you didn't notice, we are in the One Name Studio because we are starting a series called Breaking News. Do any of your parents watch the news? Do you see them and you see all the news anchors on the news delivering important messages? Well, this series is all about that, all about important messages that God gave to people called prophets. And the prophets were kind of like the news anchors. They received the message from God and then they shared it to everyone else. And I know I'm super excited throughout this series to learn all about the important messages that God gave to the prophets so that we can learn and grow from them. But first, my favorite part of a One Name Kids service is worship. So let's jump up wherever you're at. Stand up because you can't worship sitting down. Maybe you're eating breakfast or doing something like that. Pause it and then come back because you got to jump up and down. Worship is just our way of celebrating and thanking God for all that he's done in our life. So I love to celebrate and thank him by dancing around. So join us. Count it down with us. Five, four, three, two, one. One. I was found in chains of sin, captive to the hopelessness. I heard you calling now, drowning the voice of doubt. Freedom. 
Welcome back, friends. I'm here at the park with my parents and a friend. Do you want to meet her? Her name is Scarlet. We have a blast every time we go here. You sure do want to play some more? Sure, let's go. One eternity later. I'll be finished in two minutes. No, it's my turn. You were on there for ten minutes already. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. It's my turn. And if you don't get off right now, I won't be your friend anymore. If that's what you want. What I want is to swing on the swing. Next time, I will just come alone so I can have the playground all to myself. I don't get it. Two minutes should have been plenty of time. Was on the swing first. The park just has one swing. I guess I'll just play by myself next time. I'm Sarah. And I'm Kane's Mama Mia! <laughs> and, and these are, are your breaking news. <laughs> Welcome to today's Bible story. A long time ago, there was a prophet named Micah who heard breaking news from God. What's a prophet, you might be asking? I'm glad you asked. A prophet was someone who God spoke to in special ways so that they could deliver messages to God's people. Like us, your news reporter. Yeah, kind of like that. One time, Micah had some important news. It was a message for the leaders of Israel. They were leading the people in the wrong direction. They only cared about themselves, really. They were unkind and unfair to the people. They only helped when they got something out of it. No! God wanted these leaders to take care of God's people, but these leaders were not doing what God wanted. God told them if they kept it up, they would lose the ability to talk to each other. They wouldn't be able to hear God's voice anymore because they wouldn't listen. <laughs> Michael was different though. He heard from God and told the people exactly what God wanted them to do. He didn't treat anyone badly, but treated everyone fairly. It didn't matter if people would give him things or couldn't. Michael would still tell the people what God wanted to tell them. Absolutely! Even when it wasn't all great news. It was the right thing to do because God wanted Micah and all the leaders to do just that. So Micah decided to stand up for what was right. And that's what God wanted the people to know through the prophet Micah. Bye! Chicka, 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 chicka. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. Friends, so I realized I really wasn't the best friend. I was a bit mean and not fair to my friend today. Should I say sorry? I think I should, right? Okay, I will. I'm sorry for how I just treated you. How you treated me? We were playing well and having fun, but then I wanted something and didn't want to play fairly anymore. But I should have still done the right thing. It's okay. Want to go down the slide with me? So what did I learn today? Tons. One thing I learned about myself is that I sometimes can get a little grumpy when I don't get my way. But when things go wrong, I can choose what's right. Peace out, friends. Catch you next time. That news that Micah shared with the people was not only news just for them, but it's news for us as well. God doesn't expect us to do what everybody else is doing. He expects us to do what is right. And sometimes that's really hard because what is right a lot of times isn't what everybody else is doing. And just like in the video, our main point for this week is when things go wrong, we can choose what's right. Let's say that again together. When things go wrong, we can choose what's right. And I think that's important for us to remember today, that things are gonna go wrong. Life is imperfect, things are gonna mess up, things aren't gonna go according to plan, but we can still choose what is right. Sometimes what is right is being kind to somebody, is listening to our mom and dad, is sharing with our brother and sister. Sometimes what is right is hard for us, but it includes everybody around us. So throughout this week, let's be brave and be strong and be an example and do what is right. So all of that leads us to our Bible verse for this month, which is super exciting. But first, before we get to it, we have to rock that scripture because that's what gets us ready to recite our Bible verse. So let's rock that scripture. We will rock that scripture. Stop, stop, clap. Stop.
That was so awesome. Our Bible verse for this month is 1 Corinthians 16, verse 13. And it says this, be on your guard, stand firm in faith, be courageous and be strong. Let's say that one more time. 1 Corinthians 16, verse 13. Be on your guard, stand firm in the faith and be courageous and be strong. And that verse is so amazing that goes with our story because it helps us remember when we have to do the right thing, we just have to be courageous and brave to choose to do those things because God is with us and he will guide us and protect us as we choose to do the right thing. So before you guys go, let me pray for you this week. Dear Lord, thank you so much uh, for a prophet like Micah, for us learning about the message that he had for us to do what is right. Help us choose this week as we make choices to do what is right. Help us do it with courage and braveness, Jesus. We love you and we thank you for this time. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, guys. Thank you so much for watching this. And we will see you back here next week with more breaking news.